ghosts. We aren't afraid of death. In 2016, Jace Skell completed the construction of the new Skell Technology Headquarters on Aroa, an island in the South Pacific Ocean. Skell has the brains, power, and money to do incredible things, like turning an entire island into the headquarters of Skell Tech. But he also has a sense of hope, hope that he can use his technology to help the world. Skell Technology is a blue chip company, producing drones for commercial applications, but it also has found success as a military contractor developing cutting-edge equipment for the United States government. Skell purchased Aroa with a vision of turning it into a hub for the design, research, development, and production of artificial intelligence and drone technology. By 2024, Aroa was home to more than 30,000 residents, and internal security had become a requirement, so a private military company named Sentinel was hired. Over time, as Skelltech became more advanced and started to become autonomous, the potential risk it posed to humanity started to get noticed. Concerns of what would happen if it were to fall into the wrong hands were being raised. Faced with mounting evidence that its products were ending up in the hands of corrupt regimes, Skell technology starts coming under increased public scrutiny. Then, in 2025, Aroa mysteriously went quiet. When the company was implicated in an assassination, the United States government decides to investigate further, only for Aroa to cut itself off from the outside world. With allegations towards the company, the US government decides to send in the ghosts. Nomad, now promoted to Lieutenant Colonel, was sent in with a team of 32 ghosts under his command. Their mission was to investigate the island, and, if possible, extract Chase Scal. Nomad and his team were flown onto the island but on their way are taken down by a drone swarm. The majority of these ghosts wouldn't even step foot on Aroa. After crash landing on the island, Nomad attempts to regroup with his team while overcoming a series of obstacles put in place by a mysterious group that is hunting them down. They find out that this group is led by a former ghost and close colleague, Cole D. Walker. He has gone rogue and that a private military contractor named Sentinel has occupied the island under Walker's command. And Walker himself is leading a team of soldiers calling themselves the Wolves. Walker came from a military family. In fact, he was fourth generation army. After graduating at the top of his class, he was groomed and fast-tracked into a strategic command career for field operations. Walker was quickly headhunted for the 1st Special Forces Operational Detachment, otherwise known as Delta Force, but was eventually recruited by the Elite Special Mission Unit, known as the Ghosts. During Operation Kingslayer, the Ghosts were called in by the CIA contact, Bowman, to extract a Skeltech Research and Development Technical Director, Daniel, who had been arrested by Unidad. Daniel had knowledge of sensitive US industrial secrets that needed to be protected at all costs. After eventually hunting him down, they found that fellow Ghost team leader Major Cole D. Walker had arrived there first, but he was working under his own agenda. Walker had found out that Daniel was the one who had designed an advanced surveillance drone for Unidad. They had then weaponized it and used it to kill two of Walker's team. Walker agreed to help the ghosts extract Daniel so he could meet up with Bowman. But curious as to why Bowman was keeping him alive, he stayed close by to investigate. Bowman had to face Walker's accusations and explain that she was following orders from her superiors. Daniel had become a key Unidad informer and she had to protect him in order to secure multiple US interests in Bolivia. February 2022, Walker, Nomad, along with several other ghosts, were deployed in the Middle East to run counter-terrorism operations. Later on in the operation, Walker found himself in an altercation with his commanding officer, Vaughn, who had just killed a civilian. This ended with Walker killing the officer. 
this man happened to be the son of a US senator. It was beginning to get too much for Walker. With no incoming support and watching his brothers getting gunned down around him, he felt trapped and alone. He started questioning who and what he was fighting for. Enough was enough, from political protection of traitors who had two of his men killed, to being abandoned and ignored by officers behind desks in times of war, and finally witnessing sons of senators not being held accountable for their actions. He believes mankind has lost its way, and the upper classes and privileged need to be brought in line. Walker officially left the US Army in July of 2022. Then, after gathering support from several fellow ghosts, Walker went rogue and launched an attack killing former brothers and even one of the senior ghost command. In 2024, Walker came on board as Jace Skell's military advisor as he had begun to take an interest in Skelltech's advanced military technology. However, it wasn't long before Walker and his wolves rallied together with Sentinel and took control of Aroa. All communications to and from Aroa were shut down. Using Jace Scales' cutting-edge technology, Walker tracked down the people who were responsible for the deaths of his men back in Bolivia. He then used the state-of-the-art drones from Skeltech to assassinate the political candidate responsible for the murders around this time. These were the actions that triggered Operation Greenstone, where 32 ghosts were flown in by helicopter to investigate the island. The same drone swarms that Walker was using to keep the residents from escaping was also stopping anyone from entering the island. Walker plans to use the Skeltech drones as a solution to what he describes as a nation under godforsaken fools, liberated by lies, justified by complacency, that the moral high ground it was built upon has already begun to erode. Armed with cutting-edge weapons and equipment, the Wolves have commandeered Scale Technologies drone production as part of a self-appointed mission to safeguard the future of warfare. Walker is made Nomad and his team a target, and he's willing to do whatever it takes to keep his hold on Aroa. Nomad and the Ghosts find shelter at Erewhon, which is home to the Homesteaders, a group who lived on Aroa before Skeltech's arrival. Nomad manages to find another ghost, Josiah Hill. Following this, Nomad locates Jace Skell, but is then attacked by Walker and Hill, who is defected to Walker's side. Nomad escapes along with Skell. Skell then formulates a plan to take down the drone control program. Along the way, Nomads and the Ghosts help out key employees of Skelltech, eliminate Sentinel commanders and Walker's lieutenants. Eventually Nomad manages to track down Walker, and after a grueling fight, Nomad manages to inflict a fatal blow. With his dying breaths, Walker hands his dog tags to Nomad. Nomad then deactivates the drone control program by uploading Skell's virus, taking down the drones protecting the island, and stopping Walker's plan of taking out the world leaders, which involved using lethal killer drones that were to be deployed by missiles launched from a submarine. Strategically placed away from the main island of Aroa, Golem Island was home to a military research unit specialising in the creation of experimental drones. Due to the sensitive nature of the research, Skeltech implemented a self-learning AI to monitor the whole island and protect the valuable resources on it. Following Walker's death, a faction of wolves, called the Red Wolves, take over Golem Island. After infiltrating the area, the Red Wolves managed to reconfigure the self-learning AI, bringing it under their control. Nomad and the Ghosts infiltrate this hostile environment and manage to stop the Red Wolves, as well as their four massive military drones, called Titans, before they were able to reach full production. Nomad is informed of a woman who has been captured by Sentinel who was able to take down several armed drones on her own. He tracks her down. She introduces herself as Rasa Oldwin, a time traveller sent from the future to search for Nomad. However, while they are talking, a T-800 Terminator arrives at the scene, forcing them to escape. Making the way to Rasa's workshop, she explains that 40 years from now, in her timeline, an artificial intelligence known as Skynet would be responsible for developing the machines for infiltration-based assassination missions. 
and would use the machines to wage war on humanity. She has come back to 2025 to warn Nomad, but she has been followed. They are here to kill Nomad and Rasa, and secure the future of controlling Earth. The Terminators are a cybernetic enemy that is resistant to conventional weapons. However, Rasa has made a special weapon for Nomad that can pierce the T-800's armor and fry their mainframes. Nomad investigates the presence of multiple Terminators on Aroa, and after detecting strange electromagnetic patterns coming from one of the Skeltech facilities, Nomad discovers that the machines have converted the facility into a Terminator mass production factory. Reaching the control room, Nomad comes across the T-800 that originally encountered them and is now in control of the facility. After battling and destroying the original T-800, Nomad seals the airlock leading into the production facility, trapping the remaining Terminators inside, while the entire compound self-destructs. Splinter Cell's Sam Fisher has been deployed in Aroa, alongside his friend, Victor Cost, under the appearance of working for Cost's private security company, Paladin 9. Though it looks as though Paladin 9 are working alongside Sentinel to provide logistical support, they are actually investigating the kidnappings of military specialists that have been traced back to an individual on the island known as the Strategist. Fisher and Nomad team up and discover that the Strategist is working on a top secret program called Project Claw, which is an artificial intelligence hive mind which enables human controlled drone swarms capable for military application. They eventually find the strategist's identity to be Leon Ferro, a billionaire industrialist and head of weapons manufacturing corporation Lomax Ferro. Ferro's partner is Michael Lomax, and as a US senator, they are a part of a conspiracy involving several other high ranking members throughout the US government. The CIA and Department of Defense sent in the fourth echelon to investigate. After infiltrating Project Claw's research facility and facing off against an array of drones, Fisher and Nomad manage to capture Ferro. Finding a small window of opportunity, Fisher and Cost manage to sneak past the drone swarm defending the island and escape with Ferro on board. They plan to take him back and force him to testify before Congress in hopes that his testimony will convince them to officially launch a US military invasion of Aroa to remove Sentinel. After the defeat of Walker and Project Claw, Trey Stone, the commander of Sentinel, allied up with Raven's Rock, a Russian ultra-nationalist terrorist group. Together, they plan on launching a massive bioweapon attack on the United States, called Operation Kingmaker. Their goal is to use drones loaded with chemical weapons provided by the Bodark to conduct a mass assassination of US officials, allowing a designated survivor to take control of the American government. Scott Mitchell, Nomad's commanding officer, became aware of this plot and contacted the remaining ghosts on Aroa. Nomad was able to hunt down and eliminate key members of Raven's Rock, including the infamous Bodark team. In an act of desperation, Stone attempted to activate the drones to carry out the attack, but Nomad was able to kill Stone, eliminating the threat, in turn leading to several members of the US government to be arrested. Later in 2025, Team Rainbow learned of a nerve gas called Amber Ruin that was being mass produced on the remote island of Aroa to be sold on to foreign militaries and terrorist groups, and that the private military company called Sentinel was behind it. Legion got in contact with Scott Mitchell to conduct a joint operation with Ghost Recon called Operation Amber Sky to stop all production, identify potential buyers, and create an antidote. Once in contact with Nomad, Legion explained the situation and sent in specialists Ash, Thatcher and Finker. They were able to enter the island by replacing a potential buyer. Shortly after, a sentinel transmission was intercepted. It spoke of an amber ruin attack on the island. Nomad went to investigate. There were no survivors. The biochemical attack had killed everyone on site. They would soon find out that this was a deliberate attack to test the effects of the gas. Shortly afterwards, 
the commanding officer in charge of the test arrived. Nomad grabbed the officer and interrogated him. He was able to find out the location of the test results. Nomad took the data and brought it to a doctor who had agreed to formulate an antidote. Rainbow and Nomad then managed to locate a Skeltech engineer who was in charge of an amber ruin mass production facility. Nomad attacked the compound, eliminating Sentinel and destroying the gas emitter. Next, they travelled to multiple amber ruin shipping facilities around Aroa and placed trackers on each shipping container. This way they will be able to see who has been purchasing the chemical weapon. More production facilities were identified on the island and then destroyed. The doctor working on the antidote was making progress, but was struggling with the final steps. Legion informed Nomad of a colleague of the doctor who had invaluable information that was required for the completion of the antidote. Nomad and Rainbow managed to rescue him from the Sentinel forces and flew him and his research to safety. With the antidote well on its way, Rainbow would then apprehend the terror spires worldwide after tracking and confiscating the Amber Ruin shipments. And this brings us up to date with the story, leading into the recently announced Operation Motherland, where the CIA has been working with the outcasts on Aroa, who are attempting to have it become a free and autonomous nation. CIA contact, Bowman, has sent a nomad and his squad to assist. With this new operation coming up, I've been spending a little more time on Breakpoint recently. I needed to refresh my memory on where we were at, as I've been busy with other games in real life, so I thought I'd chuck this together as a quick update, or wrap up of the story so far. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers!